What's good? What's good? What's good? Y'all know what it is, your boy Sino. You know what it is. Oh, man. Look. It's more like this. <laughs> I've always tried to be a civil human being. And one that always gives you my thoughts, you know, as they present themselves. And give you my opinion as to what happens, such as the current events. But with Jaguar, I mean, it didn't take a genius or somebody to have a master's degree to tell you what was going on here. That this was somebody who was mentally disturbed. People think because someone's mentally disturbed, everything they say is a lie. That's just simply not true. So, our whole take on it was quite simple. You know, let's... You know, let's try to keep things in perspective. Jaguar Wright decided to go at it with no one other than, than Charlie Mack. Now, Charlie Mack is the first out the limo. <laughs> well, now he's first out the Pinto. <laughs> but, anyway, <laughs> Charlie Mack has become like a manager, but always was still connected with the Smith family. You know, he was like the bodyguard slash producer manager for Will Smith, and Will has always been keen to keeping a circle around him. But he always wanted to be somewhere bigger. You know, Philadelphia just really wasn't for him. As Meek Mill went into an incident because the judge that they have in Philly, you know, she wanted him to sign a recording contract, a managerial contract with Charlie Mack. <laughs> like, let Charlie Mack dictate your future, you know. So Charlie Mack is the one that could get that going. Well, I think it would do best if I let Jaguar tell it in her own words. I'm sitting there looking, um, I pop through Instagram and I see old Charlie Mack is saying that I'm mentally ill. No, nigga, you mentally ill. And I'm going to tell you why you mentally ill. This is going to be my last thing because I'm going to get this off before crimes and everything come in so I can be kumbaya and not have to speak about filth in my mouth. People should have just as much respect for you, um, balking at my um, assertions about the reality of you, Charlie Mack. And then you thought you was going to double down by getting my cousin Wiz, my so-called cousin Wiz, to talk about, oh, oh, I'm tripping, and he ain't never say this, and I'm lying. How the hell could anybody believe Wiz? Wiz been running around for years talking about he wrote and produced free for me. My cousin Wiz game name ain't nowhere on no credit for that record. Ain't never been. That was Nia Hot Runner. And on top of that, he had nothing to do with the production either. Wiz Gam had nothing to do with the production of Free. Period. Had nothing to do with it. I had Adam Blackstone, Daryl Robinson, Kurt Chambers, who was on base? I'm trying to think. No, it wasn't. No, because Banana plays guitar. But everybody that was in the free video played the actual live track that went along with the studio recorded track, which is what gave it that, that awesome raw live feel sound. The next time some whiz game tried a lot of one of y'all, talking about he wrote and produced free, ask him to tell you every name of every player on the record. And then go back and look and see if he's right. I can guarantee you, unless he's memorizing it right now, because I'm saying something, he's lying. 
My cousin right now is just as credible talking about me being a liar as Janice Dickerson was talking about Bill Cosby after she lied on Sylvester Stallone for all of those years saying that he was her baby daddy. And then when the DNA test came back wrong, she said, oh, my bad, I was high. Charlie, stop using uh, Janice Dickerson ass niggas to vouch for you because my cousin is a fucking liar, yo. He steals from his sister, Damia. His own sister. And did absolutely nothing to encourage his brother into a different way of life so he wouldn't be serving life. This is the nigga you talking about? This is the nigga you got vouching for you, Charlie? My cousin. My so-called cousin. You got him? His Janice Dickerson lying ass vouching for you? That doesn't say much about where you stand, yo. Because if you need a liar to back you up, birds of a feather usually flock together, Charlie, with your tall for nothing ass. You a tall for nothing, nigga, yo. And I guarantee you fold the f up with your big ass, Charlie. And I'm a liar. Because I know niggas that folded you up. Back in the 90s. I was in them streets. I was in them streets, Charlie. You know me from the street before you know me from music. You never liked me. And guess what? I never liked you either, Charlie. That's why I never participated or had anything to do with your celebrity game. Because I knew what that game was all about. Ooh. Or do we need to talk about how you was laundering money? I don't know about you guys. Woo! 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 Hoo-hoo! Charlie Mac! Supposed to be the first out the limo, bro! First out the limo! Don't 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 So she's dropping gems. The man is laundering money. Now we got a money laundering scam going on. Well, we need to talk about how you was using that basketball game to launder money. Oh. Or maybe we want to talk about how you how you started standing next to Will Smith anyway. Because it was Tron. It was Tron that held them down. You remember Tron? Tron Anderson? Tron Anderson saved their life when niggas was ready to trunk Jeff and Will. Where was you, Charlie? It wasn't you that was getting niggas out of trunks and keeping niggas out of trunks? Or do we got to talk about that? But I'm a liar, Charlie. Running around telling everybody how you was mad you had to come back to um from L.A. to Philly. Why the f are you still in Philly, Charlie? Much as you love Calabasas. Why won't Will and Jada open you back into the fold? Especially at the Empire, all the procuring you did for that show. That's so, I'm so curious how that worked out for you. All of that Empire shit and everybody broke. Ain't nobody make no money. You got mothers lying just to get by. Biggest, one of the biggest shows on Fox and everybody end up broke? That's the kind of management you do? But you know what? That is the kind of management you do, Charlie. Look at what you did to Javon Pearson. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Your so-called friend. Who you treated like the court jester at your own wedding because you wouldn't provide a suit for him. To be in your wedding as one of the men welcome for you know he was only good enough to be the clown that hosted uh your um your whatever the case may be your 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 your, your situation at the end of your situation. What a great great job managing the brilliant Javon Pearson. Great job, Charlie. Why you talking about him like a dog behind his back and said you ain't had nothing to do with a uh, a uh, 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 kitty rapist. Calling him a kitty raper behind his back. Charlie, I'm putting you on front street. Woo! You want to call me a liar, yo? You a two-faced ass bitch. And you never liked Philadelphia anyway. All you wanted to do was run behind the Smiths, right? Why won't they break? Why won't they bring you back to Calabasas? Why are you still in Philly? You hate it. You hate Philadelphia, Charlie. And you've said so to many a person. Why ain't you there? Why ain't Jamaica? Why ain't Nosferatu got you out there? Hmm? I've heard stories about, about why you, you, you can't go back. People need to start checking them timelines. Because your ass came back from L.A. 
right after Hawthorne got canceled. And you ain't been back ever since. Call me a liar, Charlie. Sue me. Sue me. Yeah. Sue me, Charlie. Or do you want me to start talking about how you been around with that street money and almost got your ass folded up for life? You know me, I ran with I ran with monsters. I know your sins too. More than you think I do. And then I hear about you got yes and everything all up back home now. Oh now he back home. Now when his mama, when I talked to his mama and asked her how, how he was and if he was still in jail, could I go pray with him? And she started lying to me, telling me that he was still in jail and she didn't know where he was and she wasn't allowed to speak to him. And I went to the Nation of Islam, hoping that somebody would be able to find her son just to find out she was lying. Only reason she would been she would have lied to me about something like that was if you told her to, Charlie. Just like you told her to lie about all of that shit in that book. Because Larry Lau was a good father to Yaz. And if anybody needs to help Yaz, it's Larry. It ain't you, Charlie. Because the only thing you do is help little boys and young black men into the Smith compound. And then they turn out, run around, two, three days later, screaming. Woo! Oh my You know, God. if your life was a movie, it would be The Vampire of Brooklyn. Except for you would be Kadeem Hardison, you'd be the ghoul. <laughs> Will Smith was always the star of your show. You the Kadeem Hardison of the Vampire of Brooklyn ass looking ass nigga, you. I can't wait for your shit to start on rotting up and falling off while you waiting to get the crown and shit. You still ain't got that crown. Yeah, you the first out the, uh, you the first out the, uh, the limo. <laughs> the, the help. The help is always the first out the limo. <laughs> Take your ass back to Calabasas with the demons. Uh, if they'll have you. I can't believe you're still in Philly at all this time. But 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 keep enjoying all of the perks of being of being the ghoul. And the next time you want to have somebody try to uh, uh, uh balk what I'm saying or rebuff what I'm saying, make sure it ain't no lying uh Janice Dickinson ass nigga. Who will screw over his own sister to get ahead? Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is it for me, and it's just all music from here. I just had to, I had to say that because I didn't, I didn't know that the nigga was stupid enough. I, somebody posted this shit a couple months ago. It came and went so fast, I ain't even know. And I guess, I guess maybe people thought I was ignoring it. I'm a real Philly girl for real, yo. Merry Christmas and Happy Kwanzaa and Happy Hanukkah, Charlie, whichever fucking religion you are, whichever God will have you. Pick a God and pray. Because somebody going to talk about why you was taking young black men oh, oh, over to the Smith house and they, and they, they couldn't manage to stay. Who, who wouldn't want to be mentored by real Hollywood royalty? Why do they all run? And why were you always taking them there? And there you have. Wow. 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 Woo. Man, oh man. Things are getting interesting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, Jaguar, she does lie, and she exaggerates. She is mentally insane, but they also do tell the truth. And they mix the truth in with a lot of exaggeration. But this will, a lot of it, I can verify. A lot of what she's saying is definitely true. A lot of it I don't know about. I don't know about Yaz's father and, you know, I, I that stuff I don't know. But Will and them, you know, 
being in that situation and trying, you know, the first guy there, <laughs> uh, back in the 80s, you know, that's a real situation that was been spoken upon. Um, what else that was said? Uh, now, the thing about the boys and taking them to the Smith compound. Now, this is the stuff that could be the exaggeration, the pull. But no, there was a lot of young actors that they were taking out to Calabasas for um, opportunities. Sign with Charlie's company. They can work, uh, get auditions. Um, for movie roles, uh, Overbrook, things of that nature. Now, we have to wait and see how a lot of this stuff is going to play out. But they were young black men. I don't know if they were kids. I wouldn't say they were children. They were quite a few situations uh, that were in development like for movie projects so anything crazy happening over there or out there I didn't really hear it with the Smiths so all the who knows but she's spinning it into a whole different thing and you can tell where she's going so if they wanna <laughs> so if they wanna go that route they can go that route You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let it like I'm gonna let it, you know, hang where it's hanging and then move on from there. But you see where this is going. <laughs> and you see how it was spinning into something, you know, massive. So on that note, I'm gonna get out of here. I wanna say blessing and peace to everybody out there. Stay blessed, stay up, and Enjoy life, man. Enjoy life. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Don't forget you want to support the page. My cash app is Carcino. Hit the like button if you like what you heard here. Subscribe to the page. And do tell me what you think about this. I'm out.